Charlie Hall, senior reporter for Polygon, and I actually got to go hands-on with Metro Exodus, which is the latest game in the Metro series from the Studio 4A. It's very much like a survival game. What does that mean? You're going to need to keep careful track of your ammunition in all of the Metro games. This time around, the Metro series is doing something for the first time. It's giving you kind of a crafting backpack. You've got a workshop on your back. You're going to be able to make ammunition. You're going to be able to make perhaps more throwing knives as you move around the open world. Oh, that's another thing. It's an open world game now. It's not a linear corridor shooter, but don't expect to walk from one end of the map to the other. There's kind of discrete locations that are connected by dungeons. But what it is, more than anything else, it's a very story-driven first-person shooter. Your close companion is actually going to be your wife, Anna. You're going to be part of a group uh, called the Spartans, led by General Miller. You're going out of the Russian metro for the first time, trying to find something out there in the open world to, to bring back to your people in the metro. Expect to really feel for the other people that are in your traveling party and to have conversations with them organically out in the world. Um, the area that we played was actually centered around a church. There was kind of a techno cult. They, they hated technology and, and we had to rescue some people. So you're gonna be using guns that are unlike anything you've used before, heavily modded almost steampunk versions of traditional Russian weapons like the PK and the AK-47, um, but also pneumatic weapons. You're going to have a, a pump action gun where you're going to be able to scavenge ammunition very easily for you. But what that gives you is this level of tension that you simply aren't going to experience in another video game. Running out of ammunition is deadly and may cause you to need to backtrack uh, throughout big portions of the adventure you've had so far, or because it's open world now, just go a little further than you might want to go in hopes of scavenging enough materials to, to get it done. That demo is probably one of the better demos that I've been allowed to experience at E3 because they had no restrictions. They just said go out into this, I think it was a two kilometer square open space and just go, do whatever you want to do. Part of that is because the game was delayed. Now it's, it's gonna be arriving a little later than it was originally expected. I, I believe it's coming out in 2019. But from what I've seen, it's probably one of my most anticipated titles of this year's E3, and I think you should check it out. We've got a lot more impressions from hands-on stuff that we've seen here, the Polygon team at E3 in LA. Find them on our YouTube channel for videos like this, or head over to polygon.com to find more of our written work. Thanks a lot.